What's up everybody, Langey here. Now there's been a lot of talk about Arena Gaming. Arena Gaming is a new company starting up that wants to provide a new home to competitive console gaming. Halo is a very big interest of theirs and they have some very exciting things coming up. I just want to make a few videos explaining some of the maps and game types that Arena Gaming will be using. These game types will be very similar to those in competitive Halo used in the past, such as No Sprint and No Bloom. They have created a few new maps that are very fun and work very well with the competitive play, as well as make a few changes to some old maps that we've seen in in the past. This is a map called Splash that works very well with King of the Hill and you may even see some other game types being played on it as well. So let's get started with the callouts. This is going to be the initial spawn for Red Team. It's known as Red Pocket. It sits directly in front of the sniper that you can get relatively fast off spawn to create some very quick sniping right out of the gate. It's going to spawn at Red Triangle. Connected to each side of red triangle is the lower and upper tunnels that lead to bottom and upper mid. If you look to the left, this is going to be where the red hill will spawn during the king of the hill game types. It looks into the yellow court that I'll explain later. If you look to the right of the red initial spawn, you're going to find the health pack as well as the red court that leads around to the green side. This whole platform right here is normally referred to as red health. Uh, it's very big. Uh, it's a pretty generalized call out, but it's one of those areas that you can kind of see from anywhere so it works pretty well this is also known as red court that leads around very open area uh, pretty easy to gain access to this right here is going to be called red jump up it leads to top mid from the red section of the map uh, there's also red cuts that leads to bottom mid of the map where you can find the grenade launcher and I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to keep going kind of to the right side. As I go around this map you're going to enter the green area. This is green plasmas or green stickies. It can also be called red or uh, green pillar. Uh, it's been called a few things but kind of whatever works for you. This is a pretty generalized area. The yellow side is actually completely symmetrical to it. This is going to be known as green court. Uh, pretty easy. This is also, there's a couple more jump ups right here. This is going to be referred to as green jump up and this is actually going to be broken down and called a green blue jump up. Kind of to make those callouts a little more precise. The map's broken down very well to provide very precise callouts. Uh, this is also top green and bottom green cuts. Uh, continuing to the right, as you can see, I'm already at the blue base. This is that lower blue tunnel that I talked about. We are in blue uh, hill right now. Like I said, very easy access from the sides. You can kind of see right in there. So the hill will be a little bit difficult to control. There's my little guy right there sitting in the blue pocket or blue initial spawn. Like I said, both sides completely symmetrical. Uh, here's the blue sniper with the blue lower and upper tunnels. Looking to the right again, there's the blue health, blue health area. Like I said, pretty generalized call out with the blue court. Looking to the blue jump up top blue and blue cuts. Continuing to the right I'm going to show you the last section of the map as you go through yellow tunnel right here. Here's the yellow plasmas. Uh, like I said completely symmetrical to the green side of the map. Uh, the only difference is the color of the area really. Uh, there's going to be yellow jump up and yellow red jump up just like the blue green jump up. Uh, also top yellow and bottom yellow cuts. I'm going to kind of show you lead through the red tunnel just kind of give you a look at what that looks like if you were to be running through that area and it leads to top mid straight across from blue side uh, this is where the third hill will spawn as opposed to the red and blue hill sides you can see every side of the map there are jump ups and like I said the tunnels from each of the main bases lead up there so people can really come from any side uh, it really provides easy flanks and stuff like that there's also a hole in the center of top mid that drops down to bottom mid where a grenade launcher spawns every three minutes. Uh, like I said, also you can pretty much access it from any side of the map to allow for great flanks, uh, team pushes just to any side of the map. I've kind of seen some of the games that I've seen played on this map. They will keep a guy about a mid just to kind of get him to any side of the map that he needs to go to very quickly and use either those jump ups or tunnels to get top mid. Uh, like I said, King of the Hill has been a very popular game type on this map. I know Slayer was used on it originally. I don't know if they still are. Uh, like I said, most of these maps are still in testing. So if you'd like to try uh help the guys out with that or get involved with that somehow, just contact 
either Bonafide Boarding or Arena Gaming on Twitter, or you can hit up the forums at www.arenagaming.us, uh, or you can contact me at Under the Radar, uh, either the website or comment on our Twitter, and I will be sure and get you through to whoever you need to talk to to work on that. So like I said, they have some very exciting things coming up. Uh, they have an event in Chicago, August 4th through the 6th. This will be one of those maps that will be played at that event. So I hope to see you out there, and I'm excited to see how all this works out. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and check out the other videos on the other maps. Don't forget to check out www.arenagaming.us and check out all their other partners' pages as well.